Today is Yuan Xiao Jia, also called the Lantern Festival. It is a celebration marking the end of celebrations for Chinese New Year. After this, you've got no excuse. Get back to work. As you might guess, it has a lot to do with red lanterns. You'll see them all over the city. In the past, when I first came to China, people used to launch the lanterns into the air. Uh, they're like little fire lit lanterns and they would send them up. The problem with a, a fire lit lantern that goes up is that eventually you have a fire lit lantern that needs to come down. And uh, yeah, fires were started. And so the city has been kind of putting a stop to uh, sending the lanterns off into the sky. So I'm headed to a place called Nantang. It's kind of like old China Street. I made a video in Nantang as a matter of fact. I'll link to it below. The symbolism of releasing the lanterns into the air actually was kind of cool, you know? It was about forgetting about last year's issues and looking to the sky to the next lunar year. There's a whole problem with lighting people's houses on fire, which I imagine can get pretty frustrating. This is one of the first times I've left the trike out, fully assembled, out in the open. But it's right next to the security guard. I'm gonna have to get comfortable with leaving that trike out. If I, if I don't feel comfortable about it, I'm gonna actually get very far, because there's gonna be a lot of places I'm gonna have to leave that thing. I'm very surprised I'm not seeing more lanterns. Lots of people but like zero lanterns. There's another holiday that's actually mistaken for lantern festival, Qingmingjia. It's a lot of lanterns. It's not this time of year, but I've seen more lanterns at Qingmingjia than, than on lantern festival so far. Ningbo is a coastal city, or a port city. We have one of the biggest deep water ports in the world, actually. I bet you didn't know that. Most people don't. Anyways, most of the food in these traditional areas is seafood. Ningbonese people love seafood. Those are fried dumplings. Those are like my favorite. They're like golden brown on the bottom, white on the top, and meat on the inside. And then when you bite into them, they're so juicy that you almost always burn your mouth because you want to eat it so quick, but you should really wait. Super good. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, what's your name? My name is Wang Yihan. Wang Yihan Mata. Congratulations. <laughs> nice to meet you. Everybody's so nice. You know, there's a weird thing that happens when you move to China and you're a foreigner. And I don't I don't claim to say that every foreigner gets treated the same because I think uh, dark skinned foreigners get treated different than British foreigners and get treated different than American foreigners. So I just give my point of view. But Man, they're friendly. And I even have a bald head, and I'm a big dude. In many cases, people might fear me. I don't get any fear, only love. Hello. Yeah, it's a little weird. I'm not getting any more vibe from this area 
for the holiday as opposed to even just a normal day. I think there's more people here. I don't think it's what I felt uh, Lantern Festival is like. Maybe later, as it gets dusk, people start lighting up lanterns. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Nice people. Very rarely do I get a, uh, don't film me. But it does happen. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. For sake of filming, I'm going to cut this. I'm going to go to the end of the road, which I see right up here. And I am going to walk back and talk back. Because this light behind my head is making my, my bald noggin look like a beacon of hope. <laughs> for weary sailors. Anyways, I'll catch up with you in a minute. That's the back of Nantang Lajia at the end of the street. Now I'm walking against the light, which should be better for you guys watching. It's not better for me, I'm blinded. For those of you that saw my uh, G20 Summit video in Hangzhou, you'll know uh, what that is. Ugh. I consumed a whole one of those. That's like four big gulps. Look who's here. Look who's here. Look who's here. Look who's here. How random is that to see any sister and Dada and Shasha and brother? Very random. In a city of nine million people, I run into uh, family. You guys teachers? Oh no, you Okay. Nottingham? Yes. Cool, cool. What about you? I uh, I make videos. <laughs> yeah, I think one of our teachers like showed showed us one of your videos. Who? Yeah, Lando. Uh, I can't was Lando the first day of you? Yeah, Lando. I, yeah. yeah. Was it Lando? Yeah, I think oh, so. Cool. cool. I was walking down the street and I bumped into a bunch of fresh freshies. <laughs> new, new to Ningbo's. Yeah, very cool. So I just gave them a few leads on where to go. Maybe they'll go to Gulo. Check it out. That was where I was going. I was going to go to Gulo. But then that would be weird if I followed you to Gulo. I can't do that anymore. That was cool. I hope they enjoy their time in Ningbo. I always feel conflicted when I see new people in Ningbo and I try to give them advice and you know, there's, there's so many different types of people that come here, some for study, some for work. But within the reasons for coming here, there's all sorts of different personalities. China's a tricky one. China can chew up and spit out people, make them resentful and scared and frustrated. In the same breath, it can really, really broaden people's ideas of the world and say, wow, there's a whole different place out there. And, these people are really cool and they're just like me but they're on the other side of the world and maybe they do some different things but you know it can it can really enhance somebody's worldview hopefully with that crew it will enhance their worldview I hope so all right I'm gonna head out of Nantang Lajia head back to the house That was kind of a weird uh, trip. It was intended to be a view at Lantern Festival, and obviously there is more people out on the streets, but I didn't really feel like it was a festival atmosphere. Maybe this will be the end of my Lantern Festival voyage. We'll see. One thing that I haven't done on this trike so far for this third try is get it set up with the riding weight. All the gear, a basic set of clothes that I plan to take, electronics and all that jazz, load it up so I can see what I'm working with with regards to how heavy this thing's gonna be. I think I'm gonna be a hell of a lot lighter, but I'm not sure how much lighter. I really have to uh, work on that. Once I know how low I can get my weight, it'll literally take a load off of me. The act of not knowing can be scary.
你好 ，Hello。Hello. <笑>你叫什么名字 j e s s i e 啊，你会叫什么？嗯、uh, 嗯、uh, ，我是马特。我们是。但这是你的家。对。呃、uh, ，这是这个。哎。Church, church. <笑>哎哎哎。Cool, cool, cool. 再见。Bye bye, bye, bye. 再见。<笑> That was a cool lead-in, actually. This church behind me, it just sprouted up here a couple of years ago. It's a Christian church. There's a few of these modern Christian churches in、uh, in Ningbo. This one's a little bit unique because that area right there, that's like a separate building onto the main like worship church area. It's an apartment complex, you could say, or an area where people live. Those people I was just talking to, they live at the church. In Chinese factories, it's not uncommon to have a apartment complex attached to the factory, but That was for workers that are working in the factory, and I'm, I'm a little bit curious to, as to the role of the living center next to the church. Is it for church workers? Is it for、um, missionaries? I have no idea. If any of you know that, you guys are Chinese. I, Uh, put it in the comment section below. I'd be interested to hear what the story is behind those living areas next to the church. Yeah. <laughs> See what I mean about nice people? Nice people everywhere. I did hear one thing about Christian churches in China. I'm not 100% sure if it's true, but I believe it is that、uh, religious freedoms are a little bit controlled in China. You can be a Christian in China, just like you can be a Buddhist. Muslims are a little bit repressed, from what I've seen and heard in the news in China. But、uh, Christians, in particular, I asked like about the church. I said, "So, hello." I asked how the government regards Christianity in、uh, China, and I got an interesting answer. They said that they have Bibles, they have all of the. Typical Christian church things, but it's more of the basic hierarchy of how the church is regarded within China. Church is here, China is above it. So no matter what, you can pray what you want, you can do what you want. You just got to make sure that it goes church, China. As long as you can do that, then、uh, then it's good to go. Now I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means that the Bible is rewritten in some ways. That would be another thing for the comment section. Any of you Chinese Christians out there? How is how is it different in China as opposed to the states? I imagine there's a little bit of a twisting there of information. But there are churches, Christian churches in China. There's there's mosques in China too. As a, as a matter of fact, there's a a mosque in、uh, in Ningbo. A couple of them that I know of. There's probably more than more than that, but I know of a couple. Yeah. <laughs> You're in charge yet, Quella? I'm driving around, and everywhere I go, I'm thinking, "Wow, that electricity is going to be nice." Just that little boost, you know. I really, I guess, my biggest concern is running out of power too quick. Especially if I'm going uphill, I'm carrying a lot of weight. I imagine that I'm going to drain a system a lot more than your average non-touring rider. But, like I said. I'm leaving it up to aerial riders to hook me up with a system that they think is going to get the job done. Putting my faith in them. Back at the house, actually, sister's house, because it's、uh, Yuan Xiao Jia. It's tradition to make some. Talk, talk. What is that? This is Yu Gao Lou. Yeah, we saw that in Nantan. Anyways, we're going to make some traditional Chinese things. Fan Chao Lou. What are you doing? <laughs> Trying to fix her hair. Eva sleeps on the back of her head and gets all knotted up. She wants to cut it off. I said, no, 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 no. Don't cut Eva's hair off. Please don't. Yeah, 
a little bit. Eva has that skin rash still. She's got calamine lotion to put on. It's like the Pink Panther at night. You look like the Pink Panther at night. <laughs> when I saw uh, them at uh, Nantang Laojia, they were buying a bunch of candy. This is dosutong. It's flaky, 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 sugary stuff. This is a piece of dosutong. Very powdery. Jeja. Mm -hmm. She's making tang yuan now. Now tang yuan is a popular dish in Ningbo for Yuan Sha Jia. Yes, circle. Yuan is circle. Round. 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 And ta, Tong Yuan, or Tua Bu in Ningbo Hua, is round and white, kind of like a moon. Flakes you see in there, that's a flower. Gives it a real sweet, sweet taste. You could just eat the flowers, it would be great. Here's my uh, mutant tawdu. It's two pieces together. This is the way they're supposed to look. Oh, that might be one I made. Open. That's sesame in the inside. All right, now the everyday routine of me going to the house, getting the water ready to wash Eva goes through. We haven't washed her for a couple of days because she has that rash. The doctors recommended that we don't wash her. You can hear some of the fireworks for you ain't judged yet. Maybe not as many as Chinese New Year, but they're out there. I spent the whole day thinking it was Monday. You ever have that? I mean, <laughs> I was pressing Annie all day today to call some factories. I said, you better call them, see if they're getting the stuff done. They said they were gonna get done on Monday. And she was just totally confused. I'm really not sure how I'm gonna put together today's vlog. I know I did quite a few different things, but sometimes it's, it's a total mystery. Not until I load all the video on my computer and lay it out there do I really get an idea of how it's gonna come together. So I'll leave you with this. Back to the vlogging format. <laughs> like, subscribe, share, comment. Like your comments. And I will talk to you later. See you tomorrow. Jayo. Bye. Right, before I end today's vlog, I have one more job to do. That obviously was not the grand finale that Annie was expecting. Anyways, happy Lantern Festival, guys. See you later. <laughs>